Hey guys! And welcome to another um, updated K-pop collection video. The last one I did was back in June, and yet again she has appeared. The little camera whore is here. So uh, yes, yeah, she suddenly decided to sleep in a place where she's never slept before. So yes, please enjoy looking at my cat's butt. <laughs> Um, I am going to try and do this as quickly as possible, so I have got quite a lot of CDs to show you. So much so that um, I wasn't quite sure whether to do this in one long video or two videos. So one for my guy groups and one for my girl groups. So I kind of um, asked you guys to, to kind of vote in a previous video. And you all voted to say two separate videos. So that is exactly what I'm doing. Um, I've already tried to do this once and it was too long. So I am going to try and pick up the pace and not talk as much, although I probably will. <laughs> um, but yes, so first of all I'm going to show you my um, Big Bang collection. Um, I'm not going to do it in, in really a very good order because, yeah, I just, yeah. So I'm going to do it by sort of size. So I'm going to start off with one of the biggest things that I own and that is this glorious thing. Uh, this is his um, special edition vinyl LP which is just full of gorgeousness. Um, I also have his uh, one-of-a-kind um, tour DVD, which is just freaking huge. Ugh. And uh, I have uh, Good Boy by GD and Taeyang. I'm trying really hard not to get glare. <laughs> so there's that one. Um, photo book, I've got Extraordinary Twenties. Um, i move that one over there. I also have their Bangs comic book, which a uh, cartoon book which was like a gift from a friend of mine so I'm really really happy that I got this one because it's really difficult to get your hands on. Um, for DVDs, I told you this was not in any order, um, I have their, <laughs> their best music video collection um, which I love by the way, um, their 2008 global warming tour with Tang's hot um, tour. Then we have the Big Show 2009, oh I'm the cat jumped on the bed now. We're having a bit of a stare down. Uh, 2010, Big Show. Hello, Apollo. Uh, 2011. Then we have the 2011 Making Love DVD and Photo Book. Uh, this is the first thing that I ever bought. I say that every, every time I do a video with this, but um, what do you think you're doing? No! He's sniffing the CDs. They're piled really high in a really big tower and don't go away. <laughs> The 2012, really sorry guys, uh, 2012 um, Alive Tour, uh, the 2012 Making, which is a repackaged because it's in a really annoying sleeve that you just you can't get anything out of. Um, I have their Final in Seoul and the Best Moments DVD as well. I'll just move them out of the way. And then I also have this one, this is the last DVD of theirs that I bought, it's their um, Plus A. So this is like their most recent concert back in 2014. Um, so there's that one there. Then um, I've decided I'm going to do solo ones first. I don't know why, but there we go. So I have GD's Heartbreaker repackaged. I do want to get the original one eventually. The Shine a Light. I'll just put it by your butt. Um, sorry, one of a kind. Gold edition. Coup d'etat, both versions, which I know a lot of people weren't happy with the jewel cases, and I wasn't to be fair. I was like, what the hell is this? Um, but, you know, it's, it's all about the music, it's all that matters, so as long as the music's great. Uh, Tops 71 Into the Fire, which is a great film. Um, I have Judy and Tops first album, the Japanese bunny version. Um, I do want to get the. Um, uh, the normal Korean version at some point, but I'm not quite sure when that's going to be, so we shall see. Um, I finally have Daesung's um, Japanese album, so his Discover and his Dislove. I'm not sure if it's DS Love or Dislove. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's that one, and that's really good. And then for my boy, my favourite baby, my bias, of all my biases, <laughs> is Sangri. So I got his first album. Let's talk about love, the orange version. I have the red version as well. The Japanese version. Taeyang, I've got his hot. I have his solar. I 
have Rise, which, uh, well, I'm not even going to say how amazing that album is, but it is amazing, so I have just said it. Let me know. <laughs> I also have his Solar um, concert as well, which is so good. Oh my god. Um, not that I'm biased or anything. Uh, and now I'm going to do the actual Big Bang albums that I own. So um, I am going to just do these ones like this because time is kind of pushing on already. Um, so this is their first three sing singles. So single one, single two, single three. Then we have Since 2007, which is their first album. Uh, I have Remember, which is their second full album. And then if I can just grab what I've got left. There's going to be a lot of empty voids, so I do apologise. <laughs> first mini album. Second mini album. Third mini album. Fourth mini album, which we all just call tonight, don't we? Um, then we have the fourth mini album repackage, special edition, and then we have uh, Alive. This is a normal version, Sungry. This came randomly, so I'm always really happy to say that I randomly got my bias to my favourite group. So <laughs> um, that's the non-metal version, so I'm really glad I don't have to look at that mankiness on the shelf. And I also have their Still Alive, which is the group version. Um, so that's all the Korean stuff. For Japanese, I really don't have that much. Um, I have the first album, or I think this is their second. I'm not sure what this is. I think this is their second album. I'm not sure. They just call it Big Bang, so it's very confusing. Um, but this is my favourite of their Japanese. So I got this one for second hand off eBay, which I was really happy with. I also got this one off um, eBay for second hand for like four quid. So that's with you. Um, I have Beautiful Hangover and Tell Me Goodbye and the only live CD that I own is their 2011 Big Show uh, so in 2015 I'm hoping to get more live CDs and more Japanese stuff so I have actually got their number one coming and I've also kind of treated myself to their Best of Japan thing which came out recently so <laughs> yay me! Right okay I'm just going to pause the video and then when I come back we'll continue and I'm back, yay! <laughs> right, okay, so following on, um, I've done all my Big Bang stuff, it's now kind of been pushed up that way. Oh, there goes something. Sorry, smooth. I've got CDs everywhere. Right, um, I'm just going to finish off kind of my YG stuff. So, um, Epic High, um, I have Remapping the Human Soul, and I have Pieces, Shoebox, which is a maze balls. And I have Tableau's solo. Um, Epic High have really gone up in my, my estimations. I love them. I'm so, oh, so in love with Epic High right now. Um, I also ha have Act On Musicians um, 1. Obviously, I know it's girl and boy, but um, as there is a boy, I'm still counting it in my boy collection. So I love Act On Musicians. Um, I also have Winner, just a normal edition. Um, I really like their debut, but, you know, it's okay. It's not great. Taken a few listens, it's alright, it's okay. Um, and I also have The 100 Days Journey, which obviously is the TV show for Team A and Team B. Um, I am Team B bias, I think you guys probably know that by now. So I am waiting patiently, well not very patiently now, for their buy, uh, for their debut. Um, I have ordered the um, Mix and Match DVD. Oh my god, if you haven't seen a photo of it, oh my god, it's freaking huge, it's like the size of a shoebox. So I cannot freaking wait for that. Mine got shipped yesterday. Oh, which leads me to say happy birthday to Dong Hyuk. Dong Hyuk is, I think he's 18 today, or in Korean, I think it's 19. Anyway, Dong Hyuk is his birthday boy today. So happy birthday, Gortis. Oh. Anyway, there we go. Enough about Tim B. <laughs> um, I'm now going to do BTS. So uh, I have Tickle for School. I get way late. Uh, oh, are you late too? I love these guys so much. School Love Affair, one of the best albums of last year. The Repackage. And Dark and Wild, another great album. And I also have their BTS in Thailand photo book, which is gorgeous. Uh, I don't have it, I've noticed they've, they've made their debut in Japan, so they've released a Japanese album. It's on my list, but whether or not I get it, I don't know, because it's Japanese, so it's expensive, so we shall see. Uh, for BAP, uh, so I'll start off with their Japanese stuff because it was right at the top. Um, I have their ultimate edition of their debut single, Warrior. 
Uh, this is the uh, one with the Matoki ring, so it flashes. Uh, and then for the Korean stuff, I have... Oh, I'll just do it this way. I have all of it, to be fair. So I have Warrior, Power, No Mercy, Crash Repackage, and I'm still really angry that mine's broken, it came broke. But yeah, that's a long story. If you've been with my channel for a long time, you'll have heard me moan about that. Uh, third single album, <laughs> One Shot, my first ever K-pop CD, so it wasn't that long ago. Uh, Bad Man, uh, BAP, uh, First Sensibility, you know it's BAP, so I don't know why I said that. Love this album. And Unplugged 2014. Maybe you guys, like you guys to take into consideration that technically I have actually only been collecting K-pop albums for two years. I'm going to leave you with that thought while I just pause the video and get some more CDs on my lap. I'm back! Sorry guys! <laughs> Okay, so then one of my favourite groups as well is EXO. I mean, everybody loves EXO, right? So, first of all, I'll just show you the DVD that I have, um, their first box. Um, then we have MAMA, both versions, Korean. Uh, no, sorry, both versions Chinese. Man! Uh, both versions Korean. <laughs> I think I did that the wrong way around. Both versions of XOXO, which is one of the best K-pop albums ever. Love it so much. Um, and then we've got the repackaged Growl, both versions. Um, then we have Miracles in December, both versions. And Overdose, both versions. I am patiently waiting for their comeback. I know Jongyeon, you guys seen the, the teaser for Jongyeon? Oh, probably after Jongyeon, they probably will, I would say. I'm not sure, but my body is ready. <laughs> Hopefully they'll have a better 2015 than 2014 because that was a shitty year for EXO. Um, but yes, I really love EXO. I know there's probably some stuff missing. I, I, I really want to get their um, live CD. Um, I've not gotten their photo books. I'm, I'm not, I am not in a position to buy the photo books anymore. So um, I just like the music. So I probably will buy the live CD, but just like the normal version. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure when. It's on my list. <laughs> Um, then for a group that I've loved for a very long time, always been one of my favourites, FT Island. So we have the uh, Colourful Sensibility Part 2, The Return, it's a Taiwan edition, Grown Up, Five Treasure Books, their thanks to, I love that one so much, The Mood. I have their Japanese album, Five Treasure Island, and I also have their photo book. I am so missing on so much stuff when it comes to FT Island. Like, I can't even, I can't even believe that that's how much I've got. I need to get more FT Island stuff, but there's just so much of it, and my list is just forever growing. Um, another group that I love is CM Blue. So, Blue Tory, Blue Love, First Step, again, one of the best K-pop albums you will ever own. Earfan, Special Edition, Junction, uh, Reblue, Normal Edition, Reblue, Special Edition, Minyuk version, hello sexy, sorry, <laughs> uh, Can't Stop, Ugh, love that mini album, it's so good, and then we have their Japanese Best Japan, and What Turns You On, again I'm really lacking in CM Blue. CM Blue and FT Island, I would like to think I could get some more, but whether that will happen is completely up to my funds. Um, another group that I love, that's one of my favourites, is JYJ, but obviously they were a part of TVXQ, so I tend to do TVXQ and JYJ as one. So for TVXQ, I have a Triangle, Rising Sun, third album, which I think it's just called O, isn't it? It's sort of weird. Oh, yeah. um, the sexy edition of Myrotic, the only edition you should really, if you ever buy one edition of this it needs to be this and you need to make sure it's on your shelf like that at all times. Uh, Suri Suri, this is the only homin version that I've got actually. And then the complete Japanese A-sides up to a certain point. So yeah. So that's my um, TVXQ. Um, ooh, where are you going? Um, then for JYJ, I'm just grabbing, I have the beginning, 
This is just a non edition. I really want a special edition. I'm not sure whether I'll get around to it, but there we go. In Heaven, oh, one of the best K pop albums you will own. Just Us, again, one of the best K pop albums you will ever own. Then we have Jay's um, debut album, I. And then www. Oh, I really hate the shine. dot com. Um, amazing album. Really bad design. But yes. <laughs> um, I'm going to pause the video again so I can get some more. Bear with me. Okay, here we go again for so another one of my favourite groups. Um, is Infinite. So my voice is starting to go now. So I do apologise if I get a bit funny. <clears throat> All right, Evolution. Infinite is one of those groups that everybody loves. Paradise. And I'm so lacking. I mean, I've got a lot of their stuff, but I'm still so much stuff that I want to get. Infinitize, New Challenge, Destiny, Sorry, uh, Season Two. I love that album. Uh, Be Back, Sexy Boys. Uh, Hoya. Sorry, Infinite H. I'm sorry, with Dongu and Hoya, my, my brain just thinks Hoya! <laughs> He's a bit biased, by the way. Uh, Sungyu, another me, love that album. Then for the Japanese stuff, I've got the normal edition of Be Mine. And the gorgeous special edition of their um, She's Back. Which comes like, uh, which I love, which is damaged, but there we go. It's not because I look at it too often, I promise. Um, right, then we have, I'm just going to grab the next pile, please, just talk amongst yourselves. Uh, MIB, so <laughs> Most Incredible Busters, uh, Illusion, and the Maginot line. The only one I'm missing is Money in the Building, but it's really difficult to get, so I don't know, I don't know whether or not I'll ever get it. But um, Block B, so I have the first mini album, New Kids on the Block, second mini album, Welcome to the Block. Blockbuster, one of the best K-pop albums you will ever own, and very good. That was the last Block B album that I ever bought because I, as much as I love Block B, I'm not really a big fan of the change in their music. I liked it when they were this kind of era. So yes, I'm just taking a bit of a hiatus on Block B at the moment. Um, another group that I love is Speed. Uh, Zika's brother Taekyun is in this one. Um, and it shows this, they're really, really good. So I have a Superior Speed and I have a Speed Circus, another great album. Um, oh, it's grabbing. So another debut for 2014, probably my favourite debut maybe, mm, is uh, Got Seven. So I have the first one. I have Got Love and Identify. This is just a normal version, so I haven't got like the close-up version because I thought I didn't really see the point. So yeah. Um, then we have oh things escaping. Uh, another group that I've loved for a very long time. I've only just gotten like their physical copies. So 159 by 2 p.m. Hands up. Grown. This is a sexy edition. So the reason why it's coloured differently is because if you get it warm, um, it changes colour and you can see gorgeous 2pm behind and there's quite a lot of shirts off. <laughs> Pervolet. Um, then we have My Music Has Stopped. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Go Crazy. So that's all my 2pm stuff. I'm really happy with my 2pm collection now so um, I probably will stop at that. Probably. <laughs> um, then we have Shiny. Why? I don't know why I said it like that. Uh, I'm going to show you my shiny collection. Um, so first of all, I have their Romeo. Taman is my bias, so obviously I have Taman's version. Uh, then we have You of Us. I really hate this packaging so much. Um, then we have uh, Lucifer. Both versions. Sherlock. Keys version. I'm very happy with Keys version. Everybody. Oh, sorry. Uh, everybody, <laughs> I don't know why I, um, why I started singing that. Uh, I also have their first Japanese album, The First, and the second Japanese album, Boy Meets You. Um, I do also have Taemin's Ace 
which should actually have arrived by now, but it hasn't. So um, please count that because I did order that like a week before Christmas. It was shipped the day after and it's still not here. So, oh my God. Um, sorry, I'm just grabbing more CDs. Um, Super Junior. <laughs> by the way, have you guys seen Chong Yun's teaser? Oh, wow. Anyway, <laughs> focus, Kate. Super Junior. Um, so I have Don't Dawn, second album. Sangmin is my bias, so I have him as my photo. <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Banamana. Mr. Simple. Spy. This one was second hand off eBay, so I was really happy to get that one. Uh, I have Mamacita. Um, version B and as well, version A and version B even. I also have the repackaged, this is Love, Sangmin's version, which is gorgeous. And then I have Super Junior M, Supergirl, Supergirl, and um, Breakdown. I think for me, I'm quite happy with my shiny and Super Junior collection. I don't feel like it's incomplete, if that makes sense. So, yeah. Does that make sense? I think it does. Oh. Right, another one of my groups is um, Beast. So I have Shock of a New Era, Mastermind, Lights Go On Again, Fiction and Fact, How to Love, Hard to Love, or Hard to Love, How to Love. Wow, that was epic. Uh, <laughs> good luck. I always get confused with this thing. Oh my god, what's it called? There's so much stuff going on. No, good luck. And I also have time as well. Um, I also am going to include my troublemaker, even though it's Kiana as well. But you know, comes on counts. So I've got the first and the second. I don't have the like special edition because I don't really see the point. So it's like whatever. Um, then we have newest. Um, just bear with me. Again, just talk amongst yourselves. Um, so I have face. Uh, I didn't have this in any order, so that's why it's a bit of a delay. Action. Uh, I have the third mini album, Sleep Talking. They're gorgeous rebirth. And I do have their second mini album. This is the normal edition. Um, but I ha it's actually inside this one, which is their special edition, which comes in a ridiculously thick photo book. But I always keep it outside because they number their CDs, and I love that. Oh my god, I love that so much. I'm just going to put them there. But yes, I really love it. It's getting a bit... Mm. Anyway, oh look at them, they're all travelling now. Um, then we have B1A4, Let's Fly. I'm in my last pile now, guys. We're almost there. Uh, Let's Fly, Ignition, Normal Edition. I don't have a special edition because I don't really see the point and I hate photo cards. Uh, in the Wind, fourth mini album. I don't really know what it's called. Just for me now. Uh, then I have Who Am I? Chin Young cover because he's my bias. I love him. And then Solar Day. Uh, then for Teen Top, oh, um, I have the It's. Mm, I'll put that there. I have a Summer Special, which oh, it's just gorgeous. Then we have the Number One. This is the repackage. Such a good album. Teen Top Class, Teen Top Edition, and then we have their Exito with the Wink book also. Oh, Cat, you're bloody in the way. She's just there. It's like, ugh. Uh, right, last pile. Oh my god, the last pile. Sea Clown, another group that I love that's so underrated. So I have their Not Alone, their Young Love. A shaking Heart and their last one from last year which I cannot remember at all but yeah I love it <laughs> so I have all their sea clown stuff so yeah really sorry about my brain deadness there uh, then for Vix I have their first mini album Hide which I really hate this packaging it's really loose uh, then we have Jekyll Voodoo Error oh, I love Vix and then BTB, Born to Beat, Press Play, I always like to do that, Ta -da! 
and I have Thriller. I haven't gotten the last couple of releases because I didn't really enjoy them, so, you know, see what happens the next time. Uh, then for You Kiss, um, I always say it, don't I, most underrated K-pop group in history. I have Great Time and Neverland. Um, I would like to get a couple of others, but again, they're on my list. And then the very last thing to show you guys, woohoo! is this one which is Ninja Assassin um, DVD Blu-ray um, this is Rain and Lee June from M Black I don't own any M Black I say this all the time it's a bit sad now because obviously M Black's not really it is still M Black but it's not but um, we shall see I might do might not but yes that's all my guy group I'm really sorry this is like 25 minutes long guys <laughs> my girl group one is next hopefully it won't be as long um, thank you for be uh, bearing down with me uh, well that's only weird um, <laughs> I'll see you for part two. Oh man. Ciao!